Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from the Spirit Reading. It will be for April 2021 for the sign of Gemini. Let's pull your first card, Gemini. I'm going to pull a few oracle cards. Remember, these are just messages predominantly. And they won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay. You're okay, we've got begin to explore. Nice energy. So you're being told to begin to explore. Message for Gemini, please. Message for Gemini. April 2021, please. Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for Gemini? Thank you. I've got trust. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. And that's what you're being told. Begin to explore something here. Maybe something that is just a little bit out of your comfort zone. Let's see what else we get. What do we have for Gemini, please? Message for Gemini. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Gemini, these cards are so in sync. We have number six, birth of creation, potential growth. We have the seed or the egg that can grow into something here. Potential growth here. Wow. Okay, final oracle card before we go into the tarot cards. Message for Gemini. Okay, thank you. I like this one. We have Rabbit. Recognize your significance, Archangel Gabriel. Now, Gabriel is very creative, uh, creative industries as well. So that might resonate for some of you too. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards. First card is the message from spirit. Second card is what the message relates to. And the third card is any further advice. Then we will look at the cards and see what we get. So what do we have for Gemini, please? Message for Gemini. April 2021, we have the Knight of Cups. Queen of Swords. Card of Libra, this is generally Pisces for me as a reader. It's not limited to those signs. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck. Oh, gosh, my cards are just all slipping today. We have the King of Swords at the end. Okay. I see this King of Swords as you. We have the King and Queen of Swords. It feels to do with a potential relationship here. I'm definitely getting the energy of a potential relationship. And what I'm seeing, Gemini, is your perfect match. King of Swords is a, is a great match for Gemini. Queen of Swords, these two, these two elements, they're of the same element, air energy. So we have the Knight of Cups, an offer in turn of love. An offer of love. Uh, I mean, this is beautiful energy. The Knight is, it feels for some of you, somebody might be expressing something to you. Um, he can also be to do with creative as well, being creative. Um, maybe some creative expressions of love. But it definitely feels in this energy, it's love, romance, relationships here, Gemini, a new potential relationship. And, you know, the night brings change and it's positive change. Uh, may well be somebody is expressing their feelings for you this month and they're telling you how they feel. 
and you're being told I've got a feeling here Gemini that you might well be you might well be putting up some kind of boundary it's interesting because she she can be about the queen of swords can be about relationships interestingly enough it's libra energy which is the house of relationships so that's what i'm seeing more with this but i've got a feeling that with this trust energy you need to explore something that is out of your comfort zone and she is somebody who who cuts through the clouds of confusion you can see there's clouds around her but she gets to the truth of the matter so there's definitely getting an energy of getting to the truth of the situation in terms of how you want to move forward now like i said i mean we have pisces libra aquarius so it might well be somebody has one of those signs that you're meeting this this month but it definitely feels in this energy that there is it feels to do with a potential relationship There's potential growth here, the birth of creation. I'm getting the birth of something new. And it's recognize your significance. What you deserve. Because the, the seven of pentacles can be about, it can be about evaluation. Taking, um, a long-term view of something what's of value to you now now the other thing that, that this can be Gemini is if you're in a current relationship it feels like this night is offering you the next level the next stage I mean that could be you know taking the relationship to the next level whatever that means that could be marriage that could be um, starting a family that could be moving in together I mean call it what you will but it definitely feels like this is the birth of a new phase that's for sure um, and there's some evaluation that's going on here and this is this is what this trust card is telling you well your logical mind and this is the logical analysis the seven of pentacles is dictating a supposedly clear direction your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path the logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. So I definitely feel for some of you, you're being told to whatever this opportunity is for you, this Knight of Cups, consider it wisely because I have two well-matched connections here. And the King of Swords is, is clarity. So there's definitely an energy of getting clarity, but I'm also seeing this as a... A relationship of two people who match each other very very well so there is some evaluation that needs to be done but consider what's of value to you what you deserve it feels very beautiful here um, there's definitely an energy of even though this might push your comfort zone know what you deserve there's real growth to do with this kind of opportunity that you're being offered here there's real potential so recognize that even though you might feel a little bit out of the safe zone but i don't think that's a bad thing you know this is about you know being tested you know uh within your boundaries you know some kind of being tested within your boundaries it's Saturnian energy and there's definitely this energy of of really recognize the significance of what you're being offered here the value of what you're being offered and really see the long-term sustainable potential of this amazing energy so I'm going to pull a final card message from heaven it is whatever heaven means to you. I just like the messages here. Yeah. <laughs> Look, we, we've got, we will light the path to new possibilities for your future. Stay aware, number 32. <laughs> I mean, that kind of says it all, really. Um, there's such potential here, but it's almost kind of like, don't talk yourself out of it and stay in the comfort zone. 
there's definitely an energy of pushing the boundaries and even though you might feel a little bit out of your comfort zone that's fine feels like you're definitely going to find the right path forward. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.